I kept six honest serving men. They taught me all I knew. Their names were what and why and when, and how and where and who. We now humbly seek the counsel once again of Rudyard Kipling's serving men. Thank you. For the past four days, we have debated and discussed how to revolutionize the ethical and sustainable culture within organizations. Let's face it, the world has shrunk. Information gaps are being exposed more rapidly than ever before, courtesy to blogs, social networks, and online news. Irresponsible corporate actions will be exposed and judged. So here's our proposal. We eagerly invite you to our, our universities, our colleges, our institutions. We relish the opportunity of hearing your views, your strategies, your philosophies. We want to know what you're doing, but more importantly, we want to know what can be done. So let's organize workshops, seminars, interactive sessions on ethical leadership. It so happens that we're based at some of the finest institutes in the world, and with your support, we can, really, we can truly attract the brightest and best to get involved with this movement. But, but it doesn't stop there. Let's step it up. So we can't merely discuss idealist notions of justice and ethics at this conference. We must set specific targets and measurable goals and not come back empty-handed next year, and it happens now. Thank you. Ethical leadership would be leading in a manner that respects the rights and dignity of all stakeholders. So what I want to propose to you is to bring this unique experience that's made us more effective young ethical leaders.